A man wrongfully convicted and locked up for nearly 20 years is finally free. This afternoon, the Brooklyn District Attorney's Office vacated the man's murder conviction. CBS 2's Hannah Klinger reports prosecutors say this all started with a falsified photo lineup. After a thorough investigation and more than 18 years behind bars, 35-year-old Sheldon Thomas walks out with his grandmother to finally go home. The district attorney's conviction review unit found that this man, sentenced for a 2004 murder in East Flatbush, was wrongfully convicted. Thomas told the judge and his family in the courtroom about his feelings towards those involved in his botched investigation and trial. I forgive him. Just like I've made mistakes my, my life and people have forgiven me and people have shown mercy on me. I would do the same. He was arrested based on identification from a photo array that included a different man, also named Sheldon Thomas. And the DA's office said investigators were aware of the mistake during court proceedings. The witness could not even identify him in a lineup. There's still a 14-year-old boy who lost his life in December of 2004. Um, so no winners, but there were a lot of lessons that I think we learned from this case. The DA's investigation says detectives intended to arrest Thomas using the wrong photo. And even when the problem was revealed in a pretrial hearing, the judge at the time found there was still probable cause to arrest him based on anonymous tips and the resemblance between the two men. I think it should be required reading for everyone so that this does not continue to happen unnecessarily. The investigation concluded that Thomas was denied due process at every stage, which made his conviction unfair. And because the evidence was defective, the case cannot be retried. So the DA's office decided to dismiss the indictment altogether. In downtown Brooklyn, Hannah Klieger, CBS 2 News.